What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I post a lot of plant-based recipes and today we are talking about soup, baby. Ever since winter hit back in December, all I want to eat is soup. And I'm gonna be sharing with you three different soup recipes that are vegan, they're delicious, they're filling, they will warm you up from the inside out. Before we get into the recipes, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It helps more people see my video and the YouTube algorithm and of course if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon next to it so you're notified every time I post a new video the first soup recipe I'm sharing with you today is a creamy tomato artichoke soup now it might sound weird to put artichoke in soup but let me tell you it is so good it adds a really nice flavor and also a nice texture to it as well it's just a nice spin on the classic tomato soup it goes great with grilled cheese quesadillas anything cheese cheesy really, it's just delish. You're gonna start by heating a large pot over medium high heat and add in a couple tablespoons of avocado oil and then half of a diced onion. Saute that for a few minutes until the onions start to brown a bit and they become translucent. And then add in five cloves of minced garlic. Then you can add in a third cup of dry white wine. This adds a really nice flavor and depth to the soup, but it's optional. If you don't want to add wine, you can add in vegetable stock instead. And then add in a cup of raw cashews, a third cup of nutritional yeast, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, two cups of vegetable stock, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and a handful of fresh basil. Then you can stir that around, bring it up to a simmer, and then take it off the heat, cool it off a little bit, and then add it to a high-speed blender. And you're going to blend it on high until it's nice and smooth, and then we can add in our artichokes to the blender. So I'm using this from Trader Joe's. It's an eight ounce can of artichokes, and I drain out the liquid, well, most of it, and then I add in the artichokes to the blender, season with some salt and pepper, and then you're going to pulse the mixture. You don't want to completely blend it up till it's smooth. I like to keep mine a little bit chunky. And then you can serve it with some crusty bread, some fresh herbs, or a grilled cheese sandwich. The next soup recipe is a lentil soup. This is a classic lentil soup. It's super easy to make because you make it in the Instant Pot. By the way, if you haven't seen my Instant Pot video, make sure that you check it out here. I talk about all of my favorite Instant Pot accessories that are game changing. Okay, for the lentil soup, you're gonna have to chop a lot of veggies. So we got onion, celery, carrots. Now I chopped mine by hand, but if you want to be super lazy and make this a very quick process, all you have to do is wash and peel your veggies and just throw them in a food processor. That makes life so much easier, but I just wanted everything to look really uniform and pretty, but this is totally optional. So once all your stuff is ready to go, you can turn on the saute function of your Instant Pot, and then you're gonna add in a little bit of avocado oil to the bottom of of the pan and start adding in your veggies starting with the onion you're gonna add in about half of a large onion diced and then you're gonna add in your carrots and celery I have about three medium-sized carrots and three stalks of celery here saute that for a couple of minutes and then add in your herbs so you're gonna add in one teaspoon of dried thyme and three quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika and then of course some salt and pepper, about four or five cloves of garlic, one heaping tablespoon of tomato paste, one and a half cups of green or brown lentils. Stir that around and let it cook for another two minutes. And then add in a can of diced tomatoes. This is a 14 ounce can. And then a quart or four cups of vegetable stock. Give that a stir and then you can place the lid on your Instant Pot and set it on manual mode for 15 minutes and then just set it and forget it. You can let it naturally release or release the steam itself. 
but once the 15 minutes is up, your soup will be ready to go. And then you can serve it with some crusty bread over rice, over potatoes, whatever you want. And last but certainly not least, my favorite soup out of all three of these is a copycat version of Olive Garden Zupa Toscana soup. It's a creamy soup with sausage in it. I think there's bacon, potatoes. So it's a really creamy, hearty soup. And I veganized it. And let me tell you guys, it is perfection. It is so freaking good. If you have the non-vegan version and you love it, I have a feeling that you will love this one too. So for the soup, we are using the Italian Beyond Sausage, which is probably my all-time favorite meat substitute to date. It is so good. So to cook this, you're just going to add some oil to a large pot over medium-high heat, break up your sausage, and let it sear on both sides. You want it to get really nice and crispy. And while that's cooking, you can prepare the rest of your ingredients. You can chop up your onion, your potatoes, and all that stuff. So once the sausage is ready to go, it's fully cooked, you can set it aside and cook the rest of your stuff. So to the same pot that you cooked the sausage in, you're gonna add in half of a large onion or medium onion diced to the pan. Saute that for a few minutes. Add in four cloves of minced garlic and three peeled and cubed russet potatoes, one teaspoon of fennel, a pinch of red pepper flakes, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Stir that around a bit. And four cups of vegetable stock. Stir the soup around, let it come up to a simmer and let the potatoes fully cook. And in the meantime, you can make the cashew cream, which we're gonna add in at the end. So to a high-speed blender, you're gonna add three quarter cups of soaked cashews and one cup of water to your blender and blend it on high until it's really nice and smooth. And this will make our cashew cream sauce. Once your cashew cream is ready to go, you can add it to your soup along with a few handfuls of spinach and sausage. Make sure you don't add the stuff in until the potatoes are pretty much fully cooked and tender. All right guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below telling me which one you are gonna try first. Don't forget to take care of yourself this week, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Diet Coke ain't good for the soul. Give me that, give me that orange soda. Give me a grape like you see in the movies. Bubble to the top like a smoothie, you'll see. I'll do you like a nine to five. Wake up.